Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of August 26, 2022. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy real estate sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buyer return of 5.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $44.17. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Halliburton Company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Halliburton Company is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $29.87. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $32.83, unless is overvalued. Marathon Petroleum was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Valero Energy was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Financial Sector ETF was a previous suggested short sector. Today, we suggest to buy it. Let's look at the stocks table of Financial Sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy BlackRock. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $705.37. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Bank of America was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Citigroup Incorporated was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. PayPal Holdings was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Wells Fargo was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Wells Fargo is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.2%. You may expect now a sell return of half a percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $43.75. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $45.66, unless is overvalued.
real estate sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $272.58. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Crown Castle was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Prologis was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Medtronic PLC. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $93.06. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. General Electric was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Material sector ETF was a previous suggested short sector. Today, we suggest to buy it. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Netflix Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy SD Lauder. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.0%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $275.85. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. The Coca-Cola company was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. CVS Health Corporation was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Technology sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy NVIDIA Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $178.08. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. 
Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Adobe Systems was a previous stop buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Adobe Systems is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 9.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $418.87. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $381.02, unless it's undervalued. Advanced Micro Devices is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $92.88. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Advanced Micro Devices. If it is below 2.05% of your stock price trade, Advanced Micro Devices was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Apple Incorporated is a strong buy suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $166.99, but we expect a possible buy price of $164.62. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Apple Incorporated if it is below 1.50% of your stock price trade. Cisco Systems Company was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Hewlett Packard was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Microsoft Corporation is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 6.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $275.38, but we expect a possible buy price of $272.72. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Microsoft Corporation if it is below 2.15% of your stock price trade. Qualcomm Company was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Western Digital was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $37.34. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. T-Mobile US was a previous suggested vertical call option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Utility sector ETF was a previous suggested vertical put option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $110.08. For vertical call option, 
an estimated price is at zero dollars. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Bitcoin belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a strong opportunity to buy Chainlink. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 15.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $7.42. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Cosmos is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 4.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 19.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $12.22, but we expect a possible buy price of $11.17. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Cosmos if it is below 1.00% of your stock price trade. Ripple is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 9.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $0.3461, but we expect a possible buy price of $0.3289. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Ripple if it is below 0.00% of your stock price trade. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.